Hi, uh, my name is Yong Si. Today I'm going to talk about fully adaptive feature sharing in multitask network. Um, with USSD, uh, this, is, uh, this work was done during my internship at IBM Research. In many applications, what we want is a unified and compact multitask network, um, so as a master, a master algorithm, so as to speak. But how do we actually design such a network? We rely on manual design based on simple heuristic. For example, if we have two tasks that are very similar to each other, we will force these two tasks to share of features so that we have a compact network um, that may be generalized better. And then if we have two tasks that are very different from each other, we will probably create hard specific branches so that this network has enough capacity to host, host the complexity for both tasks. But this manual design is suboptimal in the sense that well, it's very error-prone um, error and tedious. Um, and it fails to answer some questions like where to create the branches and with, if you have multiple tasks, how do you group them? So here is our contribution. We propose to automate the process of searching for multi task network design using a data-driven approach. Um, that eases the process of, uh, um, you know, of this process and then reduce human bias in the model design. And we demonstrate that through our design, we, we can uh, find out models that is more compact um, with the same accuracy level. Um, so in general, the input of our algorithm is a data set with labels on multiple tasks, and the output is an automatically discovered architecture that reflects the synergy of task. So how do our algorithm looks like? Um, it's basically an adaptive top-down branching. We start from a very thin and fully shared network, and we first focus on the output layer, um, showing L, layer L in here. So given the current net, we train for a small number of iterations. At this point, the output of this network tells us something about how tasks are related. And we use this information to create a task affinity matrix. And based on this task affinity matrix, we group some of the tasks together. Uh, essentially, each group uh, represents some tasks that, that are related to each other. And then based on this grouping, we create task-specific branches at this particular layer. Um, and we initialize each branch by duplicating the initial parameters of you know, that particular, uh, the original network. And we then repeat this process uh, from top layer to one layer below, and then um, sequentially all the way to the bottom layer. So how do we do this task grouping? Essentially, we keep track of what are the difficult and easy examples uh, for each task. And then we can count how many times an image is counted both as you know, both uh, difficult and easy for um, the same task, uh, uh, you know, for, for, for a pair of tasks. That gives us a notion of how tasks are affinity to each other. Uh, and and with you, using that information, we can create a task affinity matrix. We perform special clustering to group tasks together. Uh, we, we answer the question of how to group the tasks together, but then we need to answer how many um, branches in the first place as well. And to achieve that, we essentially solve a simple heuristic function that contains a complexity term that increases with, uh, with the number of branches, and then also a separation term that encourages um, grouping of similar tasks. So here are some results. Uh, using our approach, we can actually learn very sensible groupings. For example, in this case, we're showing facial attribute tasks. We can see some of the groupings correspond to cosmetics, and some of the task uh, groups correspond to body hair. And we also show that our results, uh, our method can generate models that is very lightweight, uh, very fast, and at the same accuracy level to the state-of-the-art approaches. Um, so if you are interested in our approach, I'm happy to chat with you at our poster session. Uh, it's an open seven. Thank you very much for your attention.